if we are given a sorted sequence from as 1 2 3 4 and so on up to n or uh, another sorted sequence as n n minus 1 n minus 2 up to so on 1 so these are sorted sequence which is sorted the uh, elements in the ascending order and the second one the elements are sorted in descending order in both of the cases the time complexity or the recursive uh, the partition algorithm is up when we apply the partition algorithm then it will divide the problem into two parts one is Oh, uh, one is uh, one is having the elements n minus one and another is having uh, the pivot element or one element okay so for example if I have elements like one two three four five and uh, I want to apply the quick sort and I just consider this element as a first element then the rest of the elements are uh, have to be scanned and uh, we are going to partition these element so this is my p pointer this is my q pointer and this is the value of v i just compare and found that whether it uh, p will stop where when the element is greater than this pivot element so p is always a stop and the value of the q will be decreased until i found the element which is smaller than the pivot element so always in this one the q is scanned throughout the array until it will reach to the v when it will reach to the p i just swap the q with v which is there is no uh, meaning of the swapping and again the next half would be considered as this one and again when i apply the same processor quick sort on this half then it will return the array with the 2 as its right position and 3 4 5 as the next sub array then again when you apply this 3 at right position and 4 and 5 is the next sub problem again 4 is at right sub problem 5 is the next sub problem and again one element is a smaller one so in this one i require five number of comparison then i require four number of comparison then i require three number of comparison then i require one number of comparison and in last i require uh, sorry two number and then I require one number of comparison so if I have taken n elements the total number of comparison is n n minus 1 and so on up to 1 so this will return a, rec a recurrence relation as the time complexity taken by this uh, sorted sequence is t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus n and uh, this is nothing but uh, order of n square so the time complexity given by uh, this is order of n square okay so if i uh, talk about the reverse uh, sorted array then the idea is same the array is given as 5 4 3 2 1 and uh, if I consider this as a pivot element, the shorted sequence would be um, like 1, 4, 3, 2 is either side and 5 is another one. Then again in the next pass, 1, 3, 2, 4, 5. So this is a sorted uh, next sub problem and this would be divided into 2 1 3 4 5 this would be next problem then it is 1 and uh, sub problem and 2 3 4 5 okay then 1 is returned as a 1 so same number of 5 number of comparison then 4 3 2 and the recurrence, recurrence relation is t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus n and it is considered as order of n square so this is the worst case in worst case when the uh, input given to the quick sort is sorted either in ascending or descending order it will require order of n square time and if uh, the input is not sorted then it is considered that it would be a best case where it is somewhat divide the array the partition position somewhat divide the array in halves we will consider it as a halves it is not exactly the same case but in best case it will return 
n log n time and when the the array is not sorted okay so this is all about the quicksort algorithm thank you very much